pre-release is 6011. And if we have conflicting data, cell. All right, everything looks pretty good for a cell, and this is what we wanted, the direction we wanted. Um, I turned my expert advisor off, as I said I would. Took my initial profit, moved my stop, and now let's just hold out and see if we can push through this uh, this 80 level. Looks like we're getting a good push. Still going, so at this point, uh, still going to continue to hold this trade. As I said prior, the plan for this was going to be to hold a short. Uh, if you haven't closed out a portion of your trade, you're going to want to make sure that you do so. Uh, so far, pre-release, uh, again, was around 60.11. We've had a spike down to 50. Uh, 9.67, so a really good trade so far. For those of you who are not looking to hold this long term, um, if it breaks above this 59.80 level, look, it looks like it starts running back up. At that point, I would say go ahead and close. Uh, with that in mind, you may want to adjust your stop to uh, say 59.83 for those of you who do not intend on holding this long term. Because I went in with four lots initially, what I'm going to do at this point is close one more and kind of s and forget about the trade. So I've closed one more lot. I did it uh, where price is currently at, and uh, so now I'm out of 75% uh, of my trade, and I'm just going to allow this last portion to go. How's it looking for everybody? This has been a phenomenal move, far better than uh, than I could have ever hoped for. Of course, we've got some substantial deviations here. 34 pips, good. 50 pips, good. Still in for 62 on a piece of it. Good, Barry. 